exciting than pizza with extra cheese. More interesting than homework. More important than reaching the 12th level of Zing Bozo. Yes, it's time for Professor Helmet on Helmets. Hello, I'm Professor Helmet. Hey, did you ever think about helmet science? Well, I do. Helmet science is my life. Helmets are a big part of everybody's life. You see, over the years, people have developed different kinds of protective headgear. Well, today, people wear helmets for all kinds of reasons. Putting out fires, inline skating, skateboarding, flying in outer space, playing hockey. He shoots, he scores! Horse riding. And, whew, riding a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, well, you get the idea. Why are all kinds of people wearing all kinds of helmets? Well, of course, they look very cool. But helmets aren't just cool. Helmets are a great idea. A helmet helps protect your head. A helmet protects your head. Your head is a very important thing. It weighs 10 to 15 pounds. It's put together from 22 different bones. It's home to your ears, eyes, nose, mouth, teeth, tongue, and of course, your all important, very fragile brain. <laughs> it's pretty fragile too. Your head holds your brain. Your brain. Your brain is fragile. Fragile. Helmets are great. They help protect your brain. Yes, see, that's where helmets come in. Helmets are strong and help protect your head. Here at the Helmet Science Laboratory, we do tests to help ensure that you get a good helmet. Tests like the Impacto Facto Drop. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's crack some eggs. Ah. Mondo Perfecto. You see, we check to make sure the helmet is structurally sound so that it can do the job it was designed to do. But it's not just enough to have a helmet. You have to wear it correctly. Here we have a head. Here, we have a helmet. Now, this helmet is not being worn correctly. It's tilted too far back. The chin strap is loose, and the fit isn't snug. Well, how do you know how to wear your helmet correctly? Well, step one, read the owner's manual. I don't think we can stress the importance of reading the owner's manual. Read the owner's manual. Perhaps we have stressed the importance of reading the owner's manual enough. <laughs> the owner's manual will explain how to get the most out of your helmet, beginning with proper fit. Now then, your helmet must fit snugly. Well, you can fine tune the fit with size pads that come with the helmet, like these. You should be able to shake your head without the helmet moving from side to side. The helmet must be worn level on the head. You see, some people wear their helmet on the back of their heads, that's dangerous. If the helmet is not worn level on the head, covering the forehead, it offers no protection. Snug, straight, and level. That's how you wear a helmet. Now, why wear a helmet? Well, 85% of all bicycle-related head injuries could be eliminated if everyone wore a properly fitting helmet. But if that's not enough, think about this. 75% of deaths related to bicycles are head injuries. That's why everyone, kids and adults, always need to remember to wear their helmets. Your head is much better protected when you wear a helmet. When you don't, it isn't. Watch this. This is a melon. This melon has about the same consistency as your head. This is a helmet. A good helmet. Still very bumpable. 
Yes. Now, without a helmet. Definitely yucky. So, don't be a melonhead. Wear your helmet. Helmets are cool.